What's up guys, Main Man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and today I'm joined by Mr. Phoenix, or Mr. Death Fist, you know, he does have that uh, nickname by the community as well. That's when you know someone hits really fucking hard, like, the Death Fist. I've, I've had a lot of fun with this character lately, and I thought I could share with you guys uh, the big boy combos Paul does. You might know about them, you may not, this video is for the latter of you. Uh, so yes, I'm just going to go ahead and show how to get big damage with the character and a lot of people Most people know he hits really hard, but some people actually think well without wall He doesn't do a lot of damage because his his new wall combo Of course, he's always done a lot of damage at the wall, but the new season 3 combo here is just extra devastating and people think that it's when you combine a staple with a wall you get humongous damage with Paul. Because when you do launch with that down for two and then you do a combo like this... Uh, oh shit, I actually dropped that. You do that? Oh, it's 65. Even if I get the just frame demo, man. That's not a lot of damage. Well, this is because the initial launcher, the down for two, only does 15. When you launch them with this move, which is one of your key moves, the launcher alone does 33, and suddenly, you know, it really, really hurts a lot. So, yeah, Paul ha always has devastating combos, but just don't be fooled by the fact that his, uh, his main and primary launcher only does 15 damage. So, um, to some of you, that's like, you know, oh, well, that's completely... Everyone understands that. Well, everyone doesn't. Uh, so, um, so basically, if you would see the same combo, but with a core circle back 2 starter, like this, that's 86 damage without wall. That is, 85 is exactly 50%. So this is, that does one point above half-life. Two of those, and the opponent is dead, without walls. <laughs> so, yeah, and this is a plus one on block, very long range counter it launcher. Uh, don't underestimate that move. It is uh, godlike. Uh, but so I'm, I'm just gonna start. We're gonna go through every launcher. So again, down for two. I would do back three. What the fuck is this? There we go. I have some screen tearing. I don't know if I have to get a new monitor. Uh, classic. Um, you can do quarter circle for one here for an additional free damage. But uh, I would not recommend it. That course circle forward one can be tricky to do, especially online. So I would just go with back three. Super reliable. You'll never drop it. Uh, but yeah, if you want to practice a lot and get the most out of that down for two, course circle forward one should be the follow up. Um, and then course circle forward one. This is where you know again back three, three two, hold back. You know, you'll get the core circle back four. Uh, Paul's damage has really increased in season three, just thanks to free to backsway. You, you see that at the wall with this super reliable hits on all characters. Uh, compared to his old combo, season one and two, you do free to uh, down one plus two, and that would drop on a lot of characters. Paul would switch sides; it recovered very slowly. His new wall combo is so much better, and he gets additional damage without walls as well with that. So. Paul has really been buffed, and you should also know that 3 2, if it connects from the side or the back, this is guaranteed. It is fully guaranteed. So, from the side or the back, 3 2, hold back 1 plus 2, fully guaranteed. If you do a proper staple afterwards, it does 100 plus damage. Yes, he's pretty damn good in season 3, to say the least. But so, again, Core Circle Forward 1, back 3. You can do double cross over for one, but again, th this is tricky. I just don't recommend doing it. I recommend doing back three. Uh, sorry, God, I've been showing everything with counter it. It's just so I, I can show, uh, can demonstrate stuff like that quickly with cross circle back four. Uh, so let's look at the state of damage again. Sixty-three. Okay. Uh, and hop kick back three. Um, and where this suddenly changes is if you use your 14 frame punish, this is Paul's 14 frame punish, uh, it's an incredibly good tool, 
Uh, here, you crouch into a while standing free uh, to pick them up. You can do free too if you want to, uh, if you find that to be easier. But to add some damage, uh, I would do while standing free here. Uh, and you, you just can't do core circle for one. So while standing free, free two. There we go. And same with Ford Ford Four. While standing free, three two. And um, his uh, the reason we end with um, the demo man is not only because it can convert to a wall combo, you know, uh, rather than the death fist, which won't do that. But uh, if they have nerfed the damage on the death fist. Uh, this happened in season two, and they buffed the damage of the demo man in season two. So th this suddenly turned into his uh, his main ender. Um, but of course, if if a wall is very close by, you don't think you can demo man. Four four two one is uh, is very good, like so. Uh, you can also do if the wall is super. S oh God, <laughs> Jesus! If the wall is super super close. Core Circle Ford 1 uh, is very good. Um, and I will just look at Core Circle Back 4 again. So it's Core Circle Ford 1, 3, 2. Again, just enormous damage. Um, this damage is so dramatic that I maybe should even show you guys what it looks like uh, with a wall as well. Okay, we are a little bit too close, I think. Oh, okay. That's 111, and that wasn't even a just frame demo, man. That was free... Uh, is it free damage more? Um, uh, but whatever. Let's go back to the wall. Um, then we're gonna look at uh, up forward free four. I mean, um, it's worth pointing out here that you'll always go for core circle forward one here because it's a very easy pickup from this stun. It's the same from up back to counter it. Uh, should be the same. Yeah. Um, and then up forward free four, you do immediately free two into etc. Uh, Magic 4, this is also such a buff thanks to 3-2, uh, it changed the character. Magic 4 now, you can just immediately do, you should be able to just immediately do 3-2. There we go. Can also do the classic dash in, back 1-2, into combo. And now we're, we're gonna look at Core Circle 4, 3 plus 4. You can quite easily do 4421, or you can do Death Fist. Death Fist is slightly trickier, but not too hard. So you can just go with the option that you find the easiest. But obviously, the 4421 uh, is a very good wall conversion. Oh, Jesus. Uh, so if there's a wall nearby, 4421 is easily your, your pick. And then, now interestingly, uh, core Circle Ford 3, amazing low poke, on counter hit, gives you a very easy demo man. But uh, this is also something a lot of people don't know. You can quite easily turn this in into a launcher by immediately crouching into while, oh god, while standing free too. So it is, it is a bit tricky, but it not, it's not as hard as you think. So as soon as it counter hits, I hold down back 2 to go into crouch, and then I just release, and while standing 3-2. Uh, so this can... I, I haven't practiced this a lot. But it can be can be worth practicing considering the, the damage it actually does. Oh. The easy version here is just doing demo man immediately after the bomb. But as you saw, you can actually quarter circle for one into demo man. 
Uh, if you do the just frame, I think it's 66 damage. Um, but yeah, it's uh, this is already an incredible low, and actually being able to bound there is huge. So yeah, if you main Paul, you might want to give this a shot. You know, try and practice this quite a bit. Uh, and now we're gonna look at uh, rage art options. And this isn't to. Uh, uh, you've probably seen this before. Uh, you rage art cancel by holding back. So you do 1 plus 2, rage art, and then you hold back. And this is a must because it gives you the greatest comeback potential in the game. Any launcher, rage art, hold, and you'll do a million damage. And, well, if if you've just got a counter it, uh, core circle back 4, man. delayed hop kick, 3, 2, 4. 112 damage and with a wall that is wall combo does 28 it's 140 damage um, it's probably the second to geese I would say in terms of comeback potential uh, but Paul is so safe that you can just stand there and throw safe launchers just stay back spam four circle back four and down for two and no one there's there's coming in and it's perfectly safe um, and then we have... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I do want to demonstrate the, the combo at the wall. Uh, you've, you've probably seen me do this. Uh, turns into a death combo if your health is low enough. Like so. Uh, so what happens here is that... Um, this counter is stun here. I think it gives you plus 19. Yeah, 19. And the fastest possible death fist is 15 frames. Uh, so you basically have a few frames of leniency to hit a death fist there. And you're so close that it um, gets a clean hit, of course, a million damage. And fully guaranteed. And I just dropped it. But it is harder than you think to do that in a clutch moment in a match. Uh, people think Paul is zero execution, and certainly there isn't a lot of execution, but there is some execution. In many of his combos, you have to do very quick core circle forwards. And that is certainly more than for most characters. So Paul, not as low execution as people think. This is demonstrated always on my videos. At least. There we go. Rage Art Cancel and then Shredder Kicks up for 3 4. And then normal wall combo. 155. But this is the minimum damage. If your, rage, um, if your health is as low as can be, uh, this will kill. Uh, and then I'm also going to show, of course, his, his Rage Drive is really good. If they have a wall behind them, bam, boom, boom. You can very easily put them on the wall with uh, the Shredder Kicks. Very easily. I'm recording from YouTube, nothing's ever easy. If they have a breakable wall behind them, you do. Boom! And basically then go to a juggle and they die. Uh, and the last thing I am going to demonstrate is... Uh, this is pretty... It's, it's nothing you're going to actually use... Uh, where the fuck am I? There we go. This is nothing you will use in matches. It's not a staple, but it's just to show that uh, it works and it's pretty cool. Uh, you saw the combo I showed you before. Of course, circle back four. Half life. Uh, what plus one? 86 damage. I can actually add another core circle forward one to that combo. The exact same combo, but but with one more core circle forward one. This is hard to do. Yeah, you're going to have to give me some time. Yeah, 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 
Before recording the video, I could do it quite often, but then I hit record and it's like... There we go. 92 damage. <laughs> oh, it's so sick. I think you can get it to 93 if you dash in just a little further with uh, with the down 4 to get a clean hit. Yeah, let's just try it one more. Come on. Ninety-three damage. <laughs> so sick. But so yeah, Paul always hurts a lot. But yes, down for two is key launcher only does fifteen. But if you are a Paul player worth your salt, you're very good at core circle back four, and you can do them very consistently, very fast, uh, and score that counter hit and just you know annihilate your opponent completely. So, uh, yeah, this was me demonstrating some Paul stuff. Um, last thing I do want to note is that um, his new wall combo is so strong that before, you know, when you wall splat someone, you would just death fist. Do know that the new combo does one more damage and recovers faster. So, uh, yeah, that new wall combo is just gold. Um, that's always what you go for at the wall. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a nice day. Take care.